Simpsons Index Old Barna Saint Super Special First released in March of 20... Wait, how do you say that number again? First released in... <laughs> I almost said 2007. That's, like, not a good way to say it, right? I mean, it's not inaccurate. Yeah. The worst one I ever heard was someone saying it is in 2007. I was going to say 2007, you could do. Oh, my God. Who, like, I've heard someone say it like that. It's like, why? Real big James Bond fan. Yeah. Oh, that Just must go with, be. like, 27. <laughs> well, I usually say ought seven for yeah. the... <laughs> All right. I forget what happens after that, though. You do the jump to the left. And Step then... to the right. <laughs> That's what he wanted. Yeah. Maddie got the answer first, but Beach had the delivery right. So <laughs> you're both winners. Right. Aww. That's another way of saying we're both losers. <laughs> I, I know what he's saying. I'm taking it at face value. <laughs> <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Um, please, Krusty, this is demeaning. <laughs> Um, but Shut up and conduct. To be fair, Mel brought it on himself. He poked the monkey in the head, <laughs> and then that's why he got swarmed. Oh, it's so good. They're all yeah. just attacking. It's the old yeah. saying, don't poke the monkey. <laughs> it sounds like a spreadsheet. <laughs> that's also a podcast. <laughs> what does that podcast sound like? Listen up. <laughs> Stay tuned <laughs> for more sounds of podcast. Hmm. You're hearing podcast. You are hearing me talk. Mm. This is Al Gore cast <laughs> with me, Al, Al Gore. Gore. The environment does not have a podcast, so Al Gore has one instead. Climate change is something we can fix in our lifetimes. You need to write your senators and get them on board. <laughs> and also trade in your real money for Al Gore bucks. <laughs> I promise this is not a scam. <laughs> This is not a pyramid scheme. <laughs> it's an algorithm. <laughs> uh, anyway. Sponsored by Mission Impossible 2, the one that they filmed in Sydney about 15, 20 years ago. That sucks many testicles. <laughs> Get it now in the VHS clearance in bin at your local Vinnie's. I was about to say, in the, in the bargain bin at your local service station. <laughs> you know what? I don't mind it. Really? Also because I, I don't mind Thandie Newton. Who? It is Thandy Newton, isn't it? Who? Thandy. Oh, no, no. Thandy. You're trying to say Sandy, but you, you're no, getting No, I'm not. <laughs> Newton. Don't mock my feet to impediment. You starred in Run, Fat Boy, Run. Oh, I like her, yeah. With Simon Pegg. It was, that was not a bad movie. It was not a good movie. It was not a bad movie. And Hank Azaria. <laughs> that, and the last thing it wasn't a Jordan Taylor corner, but it was, there was this bit where wasn't a Jordan Taylor corner. <laughs> that concludes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is funny when you do see uh, animation cut co- cut co- uh, cost cutting measures in animation. I you say cock ups. You could have saved it. Yep. Uh, never mind. Right. <laughs> Mighty cock ups. Why did I write the note? Always Bart Fridge. Always Bart Fridge. Yep. Is Bart Fridge one word? Bart Fridge two words. <laughs> Always Bart Fridge. You know, your ABF, your always, always bar- Bart Fridge. <laughs> um, always be Bart Fridging. <laughs> Bart Fridge. Interesting. Bart wasn't really in this one apart no. from Mill Housing Lisa. I think you got like a passing phrase somewhere and it may have something to do with a fridge. It means no worries. For the rest of your day. <laughs> the passing always phrase. Always Bart Fridge. <laughs> but, you know, if you're a good person, it doesn't really matter. But yeah. maybe that's a bit too kind of Sesame Street for The Simpsons. Yeah, fuck it. It's some heart. <laughs> we'll cover that on the Sesame Street Index. God, the, TSSI. Seriously, you will never finish it because they're still making episodes. Yeah. Yeah. You'll what be if we dead. did 90 episodes in one podcast? Oh, God. Can you imagine? <laughs> we, episode, uh, re- uh, we review 90 episodes of Sesame Street at a time, but there's yep. a twist. Each episode must come from a different decade. Uh, be sponsored by a different letter of the yeah, alphabet. Yeah, I was about to say, the letters of the alphabet in these 90 episodes were the alphabet three times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Bill House, when Lisa's dressed as a goth, says, like, what are you supposed to be, an Oakland Raiders fan? Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, they've had it rough the last few seasons. Anyway, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that statement. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Oakland. Yep. Um, <laughs> They're the Raiders, right? <laughs> yes. That's right. That's Sorry, I Jordan. Oakland Raiders. <laughs> uh, why did I laugh like Shirley? Anyway. Um... <laughs> 
Okay. It's he, nice. Here's a question. That's not nice. Ooh, that's nice. Um, so, BT, do you have any... Uh, sorry. Uh, just got to... Um, Get your shit together? Yeah. Yeah. Baby burns, burns. Wait, that's not the order that the words go in. This suit, baby burns. Is that a bit of sneaky peeks in our podcast? Sneaky what? We're like the dreamer. Dreams. And then lives inside a dream. Me 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 me. You 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 you. Ah, so 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 so. We 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 we. The concept of the individual versus the collective. Beautiful. What? It's philosophy while also warming up your vocal cords. Oh. Colossal vocal cords. For local cords. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it's called. Now deal with it. It's a podcast. Doesn't have to make sense. Is, is Azalea Banks one of the kids that we don't see in Mary Poppins? <laughs> <laughs> There's Jane and Michael and Azalea Banks. Beach, that light switch behind you, does that turn on lights? <laughs> light. Okay. okay, we're in a very big room and the smallest light just turned on. Oh my god, that was the furnace. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's such a comically small light. Homer wears a sl- uh, Bart slingshot around to hide his junk. That was unsettling. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. I'm, uh, not, I'm not sure that a slingshot would hide most junk. Should we test that? <laughs> I'm going to go with no. I don't know. <laughs> Do you have Dennis the Menace nearby? <laughs> I've got David and Goliath out back. <laughs> oh, there, man. Yeah. D- David and Goliath. <laughs> yeah. yeah, one very tall man and then a slightly taller man. We don't need Goliath here. <laughs> well, he, he kind of is a two-part package. Yeah. Oh, they come as a duo. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I call my testicles. I'm not coming without Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> one does hang slightly lower than the other, typically, <laughs> so it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I uh, call it Dave. That one, uh, never mind. Uh, so, but you call the big one Bitey? Yeah. <laughs> and you call your penis the Nemean lion? <laughs> Although that's a Hercules theme, but still. <laughs> it's all uh, Norse mythology, you know. <laughs> yeah, the great Norseman David. <laughs> he fought Kratos that one time. I prefer oh. Norska mythology, that deodorant that doesn't exist on the market anymore. <laughs> So it, it itself is mythology now. It is mythology now. <laughs> Get it now from your local food land in South Australia. Yeah, food land. Food land. <laughs> the mighty South Aussies. Yeah. Because <laughs> I saw that on the, the mighty South Aussies. The mighty South Aussies. Yeah, uh, it's man. a fucking great supermarket oh, it's a chain. Bloody, it's a bloody land of food. What more do you want? <laughs> There's one in Pasadena. It's amazing. It's huge. Uh, the mm. one in fucking Fruville. Oh, Don't one even get Fruvel. me started on the Fruville And when one. I say Pasadena, I mean Pasadena, South Australia, not Pasadena, California. Just I was confused of, for a minute there. Just for any of Elliot's overseas listeners. <laughs> if smelling of Troy was a real fragrance, I would buy it and I would coach myself in it. Yeah. And the good. good Norse mythology humor there. <laughs> would it be called the smell that launches That's a thousand That's not Norse. Ships? That's Greek. <laughs> oh, no, it's a throwback to when I fucked that up before. <laughs> and uh, Mind you, Norska smelled good. Okay, between the two of us, Nick, which of us is Karen and which one is Georgia? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, um... I have a feeling that I am much more Karen because you tend to be more positive and I tend to shut things down. I thought that I was more of a Karen than you. Interesting. I feel like Georgia is the less positive of the two. Anyway, we're kind of... To tie it I into think, this I think we're episode of The Simpsons. This, other pod- this isn't even our podcast. We're ruining <laughs> no, it, Nick. We're we're ruining gonna, it. Gonna that would mean that Jekyll is the Marge and Nick is the uh, Ricky Gervais wife. But, oh, that's horrible that I oh, remember Oh, you're offended by that. But Nick, <laughs> it, it's okay that we're ruining their podcast. It's not like they travelled all the way from Sydney <laughs> just to record with us. <laughs> Imagine being enough of a loser to do that, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, does that offend you, Ellie? <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Uh, triggered <laughs> <laughs> or you can raise r-a-z-e which means to tear down yep and you can e-raise which is oh doing that online yes <laughs> <laughs> that's my face when i'm like and already then... editing the episode in my head and taking <laughs> yeah. like the fuck like, okay. <laughs> right, keep it in and double it <laughs> and, you can... <laughs> and you can e-raise which is oh doing that online Ah, uh, those rapid. The Karen O. The what? <laughs> those those rapid. 
Yeah, it's an inglorious bastards joke. Yeah, inglorious. Oh shit, that's what that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. inglorious Good movie. bastards. Michael Fassbender, if you listen, we'd love to hear from you. <laughs> I've heard he's a big Simpsons fan. So I no. remember. I, I've heard that's not all he's big in because I once got a message from. <laughs> I heard once got a message from James that just like oh, I saw such and such movie. Michael, Fa- M- Michael Fassbender's penis is considerable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my position is that look, that was 2011. I think Michael Fassbender's penis should have been nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> It, the front runners should have been Michael Fassbender's penis and the dog from The Artist. <laughs> Those are the best performances I saw in any movies yeah, that do- year. A dog and a dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Typical dog dog combo. <laughs> best oh. dog or dong in a motion picture. <laughs> <laughs> Makes about as much sense as musical or comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Most considerable dong in a motion picture. <laughs> For your consideration. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Fassman is just seeing their stony face. Just... Although apparently he doesn't like it when people talk about how big his dick is. Which, you know, I've got the same problem. A couple of boys and a bloody bloke's we catch. On the party budge. So the idea is that the genie gives twice of everything that the husband wishes for to the mm. wife and then the punchline according to Ricky Gervais is that the the husband has to be beaten half to death which actually came as a mild relief because I thought the husband was going to ask for a bigger dick and the <laughs> joke would be that the wife got two big dicks they didn't make a monkey into me it's just that me and monkeys had similar descendants <laughs> Yeah, we're bringing yeah. Richard Dawkins into this again. That doesn't really catch as a song, though. Yeah. No, Me it's... and Monkey's had similar descendants. <laughs> you know. Oh, I mean, that was pretty good. <laughs> every, everybody's got something to hide except for me and my monkey. Yeah. Who have similar descendants. <laughs> Who has similar descendants. Which is a surprisingly racist song. Really? Oh, is it? Well, it's meant to be about Yoko Ono, isn't yeah. it? She's the... Oh, is she the monkey? She's the eponymous monkey. Oh, fuck. No. I thought it yeah. was just I, a ridiculous und- bit of nothing. My understanding was that that came from... One of the yogis, when they were on the, when the Beatles were on their yoga retreat in India, one of them said, "Everybody's got something to hide except for me and my monkey." We talking Yogi Bear here? Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> hey, you boy, 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 boy. <laughs> yeah, the great spiritual guide of the Beatles in the <laughs> late sixties was Yogi Bear. <laughs> hey, Yogi. hey, Paul and Ringo, <laughs> what you want to do is release an Ida album. <laughs> Gee, Yogi, I don't think the la- the Rangers gonna like the underlying racism in this song. <laughs> Yeah, who cares what they think? As long as you get them picking up buses. <laughs> uh, I'm about- gonna swipe that sitar sample. <laughs> <laughs> So I've been doing this thing for ages that I call Frank's Mayonnaise, where you get like Frank's hot sauce and mix it mm. in with mayonnaise. That's yeah, good. Yeah. It's great. It's great with lots of yeah. things. I like using it on breakfasty stuff like scrambled eggs and mushrooms nice and hash browns mm. and stuff. Apparently that's called comeback sauce. I discovered that the other day. What? Yeah. Apparently hot sauce and mayonnaise is called comeback sauce. I don't like that. I won't be calling it that. But <laughs> No. I won't be calling it that because I saw a burger and on the menu it said comeback sauce and I was like, fucking what? So it did the old hey siri what's comeback sauce um hello to anyone who's listening to this through an open speaker yeah um also alexa what's comeback sauce <laughs> yeah exactly. i ain't no comeback girl <laughs> <laughs> this um, shit is mayonnaise m-a-y-o i'm not spelling that p-r-a-i-s-e very good hello american listeners Andrew Dice Crayfish? <laughs> yes. Yes, there that's, it is. That's better. Elliot, that's better. <laughs> Elliot, cut out the one I did and put yours in twice. Keep but it I'll in leave this and in. double it. <laughs> yeah. Andrew Dice Crayfish? Like the like Elfo in the candy thing. Anyway, watch Disenchantment and also listen to our podcast we did in Pods in the Key of Springfield. Like and subscribe our ch- Disenchantment. <laughs> anyway, is there a chance that some of your listeners think that the full name of our podcast is Pods in the Key of Springfield? Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly, there probably should be a podcast called Like and Subscribe. Called like and yeah. subscribe. <laughs> I bet there is. Read the room, dong. The difficult part is I know that anything I say now is going to end up in the bonus reel at the end of the. Episode of The Simpsons Index, the online spreadsheet that is also a podcast. Will it? I have is a it feeling. Make it in, you think? I have a feeling Elliot will put this in. The podcast, podcast. It is podcast, a podcast. Duff. Woof. Duff. <laughs> yeah, we don't need Elliot. No. <laughs> in the piss locker. In the piss locker. Piss, piss, ah, piss, It's a fancy name. There's a piss, and poop. 
Oh, oh, piss <laughs> The Piss Locker is one of my favourite Catherine Bigelow films. Ah, like. mm. uh, anyway, how about you, Jordan? What's a moment from this? Uh, what? That's not the question. <laughs> how about you, Jordan? Do you have what do you want to change? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Why did Your I pets. even frame that? <laughs> I know. I, I keep reading wrong. This section. is the first episode, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, get it together because we've got two more after this. Uh, Jordan, talk. No. <laughs> Jordan talk talking about Welcome back Jordan to Jordan talk. talk where we're talking to people called Jordan. Tonight our guest Jordan. Just like all the other guys. Yes, you are. And that concludes Jordan's talk. Join us next week and we'll talk to Jordan sh- after that. We're out of Jordan's. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Peel. <laughs> yeah. Has still I not mean, returned our calls. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to slag our current Jordan, but that's <laughs> quite a big change in guests. That's quite a shift in Jordan's. Yes. Yeah. And then the country Jordan. <laughs> the entire country. Yes. Sure, why not? It's a very slow conversation. I'm just imagining yeah. like a... Hello. How are you all doing today collectively? Everyone yes. votes. I was imagining country Jordan as in like, well, slap a sad face. Yeah, it's, it's, just, <laughs> it's just you with a banjo. <laughs> But for the best of the very best, you give cubics give the, 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 the you give cubic zirconia. Why is there no Ralph Wiggum spin-off show? Because I would watch the hell out of that. I think he's gonna only ever work as a secondary character. You yeah, can't, you can't wait too much on him. No, there is an episode. If they in can like... make a movie from Air Bud, <laughs> they can. Have you seen Air Bud? Should. It's incredible. <laughs> no, I haven't. Seen what it. about its nineteen sequels? I don't know about them. As they slowly go through every sport in the world. All of the like Snow Buddies and all of those are like sequels of the Air Bud franchise. Oh, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Air Bud cinematic universe. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, what mm. you should do for your next, like your 100 episode is introduce like a sound effect for when you rank things that are all, everyone agrees. And it's like, yeah. Ah. <laughs> and then QZ can be like, ee. What if they're not yeah. unanimous? Then bum, no bum. dice. Also, for, <laughs> bum, bum, and for, the fa- uh, for failure, you can use the brown note. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually we use the index finger. <laughs> yeah, I listen to these while driving to work. I don't want to hear a brown note. <laughs> uh, I'm just going justice, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Pardon me. Attention, wireless listeners. Most of the sounds you're hearing are not coming from Claire. Oh. <laughs> Oh, fuck, this is going to be in the outtakes, isn't it? Dan. <laughs> so, how, ooh, how about you, Danny? Uh, ooh. <laughs> what the fuck uh-huh. is ooh. this set up? <laughs> this gin is phenomenal. Which is it? Really good. It's Zuzu, Yuzu, Jinzu. Yuzu. Uzu. Jin- Jinzu. Jinzu. Uzu. We all do for Uzu. <laughs> it's really nice. Here, try this. Yeah, sure. Who's drink driving? Now on the Simpsons. Drinking on the Simpsons index. The Simpsons gin decks. Hey! <laughs> Coming soon. Mm. As a gin fan, I, ooh. Yeah. It's mellow. It's sweet. It's in, it's enticing. Mm. Yes. I'm going to go double dip. That's got some uh, dimension to it. Mm. You bet it's it like does. there's a part of my mouth and everyone's drinking gin. <laughs> Was that all your notes? Yes. How about you, BT? Any other notes? Uh, a couple of quick ones. So, um, Sorry, Claire has one that she wants yes! to... Yes! Okay, sorry. Oh, go for it. Don't stare at me like that. It makes me feel so guilty. How else would you like me to stare at you? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Very Alternatively, how else would you like me to stare at you? Yeah, well, that's better. Yeah, yeah. Take, got, go with take, take two. two. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think of this? <laughs> anyway, sorry. What if I talk like this? Um... Could we also mention quickly the beautiful camera shot of Lisa mm. being vertical and then the camera pan yep. into her in bed? That was magic. Uh, yeah, mm. nice fade, nice pan, nice spin. Yeah. And it wasn't even yeah. a star wipe and it was still good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, he's on fire today. Do you, do you know there in, is no star wipes in Star Wars? I did, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the, new, <laughs> the new extended DVD that's coming out next year is going to fix that. Oh, yes! Yeah, I, I really hope that every wipe is a star wipe. <laughs> yeah, I've re-edited my life, so every time I blink, it just comes back as a star wipe. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention before when we were talking about the Nelson bit, how uh, Mil... Yeah, you're back. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, it was urgent. <laughs> it, was, it was urgent and amazing. Um... <sighs> True, true uh, happiness is simply relief. Oh, so. you tell me. <laughs> um, any other notes? Uh, I think I'm actually pretty good. I'm... Uh, Superman is pretty good. Oh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. 100 times. <laughs> uh, I just want to point out that my yellow notebook is now full on episode oh, 100. No, <laughs> hey, it nice. is now complete. 
So, oh, that's amazing. Um, I'm going back to like the page one to try and figure out where we started with this notebook. Running from church, lunch crashed funeral, Paul Bearer, hurt back. It's like the first few notes. I don't know which one this is. Is this Abe Simpson? No. Labored elephant gag, down arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Marge jealous, cape gag. I have no idea what the episode is. Cape gag? Yeah. If, if, like, old we should groupie, do a quiz. Old groupies, <laughs> they would know what this save is. my lady. Crazy stalker montage. I don't know what's going on. Groupie stalker montage. What well, else? Old groupies. Yeah, it might be when Homer becomes an opera singer and there are like old groupies or something. Wow. That is like episode 36 of the podcast. Okay. Yeah, because the next page is uh, Greasy Joe's Bottomless Barbecue Pit. So we know what that is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was from Principal Charming where, yeah, Skinny Boy gets all yeah. uh, obsessed with pa. T. <laughs> yep, that has been the notebook that's been with you since then. Wow. And, uh, yeah. New notebook. You need a new thank notebook. Thank you. Thank you. I did everything. Sunrise, sunset. Cats in the cradle. <laughs> yes. It felt like um, the Goofy movie. <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to hear a lot more. Is this just that. because of Powerline? No, it's that bit it's... where Homer shocks the fake Bart in a power line, <laughs> like power line. No, but... I mean like the plot of the Goofy movie is like Goofy tries to go to college with his son Max because he misses him so much, and then he actually ends up being like way cooler than Max by in skateboarding because he's such a goof, Does and then Max goofy? gets really angry at him for being so like. So yeah, I was watching it going, this kind of like the Goofy movie, <laughs> wow. and I like the association. So yes, wow. <laughs> hey Claire, hi Dad, soup. <laughs> What? You don't, <laughs> you, you don't remember High Dad Soup? No. It's the crux of the Goofy. Do, are you thinking of the sequel? No, a I'm very thinking of Goofy, goofy movie. Oh, there is a very Goofy movie, isn't there? Okay, guys. Yeah. I haven't watched it for a long time, Elliot. High Dad Soup. It's the big emotional crux of the. Oh, there anyway. <laughs> anyway, we got to watch the Goofy movie. It's very good. Okay. Not a very Goofy movie. That is bad. <laughs> this was great. Okay. Um, yeah, character integrity. Feel like an episode of The Simpsons. Did it? I believe. I love that. Comma did it. <laughs> I love it. I believe that it did. I, I still can't hear myself oh, through these headphones. People. You can hear everybody else though. And that there we go. You can hear now. Yeah, yeah. How about everybody else? I can I hear you. I haven't put my headphones on yet. Put them on, you fool. Put them on, my fool. You seen how naked old fool? And then Ooh, we it's like you're right here in the room with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's an illusion. <laughs> now the wet whistle. <laughs> oh, yuck. <laughs> Red leather, yellow leather. Unique New York. I attacked a chimpanzee with an ice pick. Unique. <laughs> Red berry jelly, yellow berry jelly, red berry jelly. Warming up the mouth. Would you like a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> copper kettle, copper kettle, copper kettle, copper kettle, copper kettle. Copperfield, 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 Copperfield. <laughs> David uh, Copperfield copped a field on a copper field. Copper kettle, copper kettle, copper kettle, copper kettle, copper kettle. kettle, 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 much. Now. Why, does, why, why does your dick sound like Gilbert Godfrey? Oh, <laughs> why? What does y'all sound like? <laughs> I think oh. they all do. Let's be realistic here. They're all just like a room of Gilbert Godfrey. So a family walk into the, an Italian agent and the talent agent says, what's your act? <laughs> oh, no, God. please stop. Please. <laughs> and we are big. <laughs> I can't do a good Gilbert uh. Godfrey. My penis can, but... I'm not getting involved in this. Oh, you did the best Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> it's true, I've heard it. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, well, there's a big surprise. <laughs> well, there's a big surprise! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, so, uh, nobody's reading 50 Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Clatoris! <laughs> uh, Gottfried. What a man. All right. <laughs> Say, for example, I wanted to play like a... Uh... <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme song as as written and performed by Jim Johnson. Oh. Yeah. From, uh, Bro, uh, the guy who wrote Taylor. Yeah, yeah, the very same. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor say. was a good girl, never <laughs> wanna be late, complain, express ideas in her brain. <laughs> yeah! Go talk, motherfuckers! <laughs> right, I'll, I'll give us some interlude music. God damn it. <laughs> 
it's actually funny because yeah we um, busted out the n64 a little while ago and i was playing a bit of wwf attitude oh and baby so, like, that game yeah, yeah man so like i'm hearing this and like visualizing the janky polygon <laughs> <Yeah. in there. laughs> stone cold yeah. steve austin is on fire tonight <laughs> in the war zone <laughs> This looks like a great match, King. Yeah, player one has got this on the back. <laughs> <laughs> when you play as a custom character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love doing that phone thing. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Mouthwah. Never have I ever. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> used my phone as a wah wah <laughs> Home, Danny, rules the world. I was already in his mouth. She requested poison by Britney Spears. Oh. Wait, no, that's toxic. toxic. Never mind. <laughs> she probably wrote a song called Poison as well. Same thing. I want to get poison. I'm a little bit. Oh, wait, that's dirty. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm a poison in a bottle. No, nope, got to bad. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I do like poison in a bottle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a poison in a bottle. Don't open me. <laughs> oh. Take your last sips, boys. It's time to get in the. Says you with three drinks. <laughs> Ugh, get your last sips, boys. Tonight we dine in hell. Yeah. And they don't yep. serve open bar. <laughs> So you don't want gun violence, but you're okay with missiles? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Just want to know where the line was. People aren't, <laughs> like, rocking up to school with missiles. <laughs> it's the gun missile oh, line. Oh, man, I mean, you know, you say that today. <laughs> yeah. Where is it in the Constitution that says I can't have a missile? <laughs> this is my right to bear arms, just holding up a fucking... It says <laughs> unimpeded. Unimpeded right to bear arms. So, uh, where's my sarin gas tip filled uh, intercontinental ballistic missile, motherfuckers? You know a lot about missiles. I know way too much about the American Constitution. <laughs> it bothers me. I should know nothing. You haven't talked about rolled oats for a while as well. All right, ads. <laughs> Have I told you about that Carl Barron routine? <laughs> How's no, it going? go on. Oh, it starts out with him telling about his name being Carl and how Americans... You mean Carl. Oh, you're winding me up, aren't you? Oh, you silly bugger. <laughs> Another dropped plot element. Oh, did you have something to say as well? Shit, man. No, I don't know. What are we up to? Well, that's... Another... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And joining us um, because this is a podcast, isn't it? What podcast do you might ask? I don't know. Where are we? Who can tell? Thank you for joining us this evening inside Quest Studios. Take three. <laughs> you want to get that mic there? Well, it really feels... I'm pretty close to it. You're pretty um, close, but I can see the wave function compared to the, you know... Oh, yeah. that's just uh, sensitivity. <sighs> Welcome to the Sensitive Podcast. <laughs> How are you doing? We uh -huh. want to no, no, that's all it is. Us going, hmm... <laughs> uh huh. Well, I can see how there'd be a problem. <laughs> the Sensitivity Podcast. Oh, man, people will love it. I know, let's make it. <laughs> well, you stole mine, so let me just have a quick look. Hmm. It's done it. Um, right from under his red and black socks. Mm. Uh, have you know these are the scream by the guy who painted the scream? Oh, oh nice. yeah. He got into sockery. <laughs> Indeed. Best place for his socky art. Just, I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> uh, Flanders has a propane barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> He's so proud of it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd like to think that he bought that off Hank Hill. Yeah, yeah. I loved how much he pushes Homer for it as well. Yeah, yeah. No, you've got to come over. I've got a propane barbecue. It's, it's going to be amazing. And Homer's like, uh, come on, man. you got to come to the... <laughs> when are you going to say the barbecue? Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this guy here. Do you need some caffeine or something, dude? I'm still here. I'm still here. Okay. <laughs> we can get you a V. That tastes good with whiskey. I call it a whisk V. No, you don't. And then I whisk it with an egg whisker. Oh... I'm on my game tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both those doors shut or just one? One's fine. Nine at the moment. I would say neither. It's neither, neither, nor neither. It's neither, neither, nor neither? Oh, that's amazing. Neither, neither, neither. Well, if you know all three of us are one, so you're going to get ba 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 No, no, you're meant to stay at the I same know. note. <laughs> I'm not used to this. I'm, I've drunk too much. ba 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 ran. Ba 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 ran. Ba 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 ran. Swear, I need some blows now. 
Yeah, and like, um, yeah. <laughs> Great opening banter, yo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been 103. <laughs> yep, you'd think I'd be able to know what to do with myself by now. No, I mean, I'm surprised we still have banter to get through. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we haven't run out. Yeah, that's right, people at home, that's our guarantee. More banter is coming. <laughs> More banter than you won't know what to do with. Yep. I don't know what to not do. Exactly. Don't, don't banter what Donny don't ban. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> nah, that is good content. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dong. Uh, yeah, really great. Really excellent. Thank you. Uh, order up. Um, Stonecutters. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. That's very good. Where'd you get that? I, I bought it online when I was... Uh, I'm holding up my hand mm -hmm. uh, that has my stonecutter ring on it. It yeah. was the best purchase that I've ever made <laughs> within the first minute and a half of being awake. <laughs> it's very specific, but... Okay. Yes, Impulse, Facebook. Facebook, the algorithm has got me sorted. Yeah, because when we went to Simpsons World, I'm like, why of all things do they not have stonecutters merch, especially the rings? Their merch was, like, weird, where... Mm. They didn't have any bought license plates, but they had bought Quickie Mart badges. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, we still got them, because that's what it had bought on them. Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they just do a couple of, like, slightly... Oh, it was so close. Yeah, we weird shit like that. Yeah, like, they had Krusty Burger, like, collectible cups that you could get, but, like, no Quickie Mart squishy ones? Mm. Like... Anyway, there, there are some obvious things. That Don't worry, Disney have. will rectify this. Yes. yes. <laughs> they will. They know how to merge. They know how to merge. We'll be able to get so much cool stuff. Dennis the Wild Cloud. God, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, no. when you're in a bobsled, you got to lean into the turbs. Lean into the turbs. The turbs? <laughs> I nearly, I, I don't know what I said. He was trying to do <laughs> his turbs. Time. Lean into the turbs. <laughs> Turpentine <laughs> is your friend on a bobsled. That's what John Candy said in that movie, <laughs> Home Alone. Um, that's all I remember from when I was watching it, sniffing Terps. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah. yeah. oh, yeah, that's the angle. <laughs> There's always a sweet spot. Ah, there it is, right there. <laughs> the podcast always reclined. Always oh. reclined. <laughs> you Teamsters are so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you relax at home? <laughs> relax with us. <laughs> I, I really hope someone in the car is just... <sighs> just getting that good stretch. It's yeah. like a yawn when you hear someone else having a stretch. You're like, oh, my bones are tense right now. <laughs> don't mind if I do. <laughs> just enjoy a good stretch. Yeah, all you people out there, put your hands in the air and stretch your shoulders. <laughs> put your hands in the air like... Yeah. <laughs> now you don't care. <laughs> there is a certain episode about a, a, a certain mother of a certain Homer Simpson that we'll be doing in this sort of format as well later on. Look forward to that. Who is it? <laughs> I don't want to give too much away, but she played Smee in Hook. <laughs> Gary Busey? <laughs> Need more lemsies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's our sponsor for today. Yeah, today's Lemp episode brought for you by Lemsip. Lemsip strepsils and yeah. taking a long afternoon nap. Yeah. Ooh. And various kinds of soup. <laughs> to feed a cold the Simpsons index way. Mm -hmm. Definitely no oysters. <laughs> no, no oysters. No oysters. Lots of cake though. That's good for a cold. Whiskey and punching <laughs> is how I get over colds. <laughs> Beat it out of yourself. <laughs> okay, I was just about to ask where the punches are directed. <laughs> At your disease, which is in your face. Can't maintain a glaring Ooh. look while also Ooh. adjusting Ooh. a microphone Ooh. stand. Why is it so far down? It's sunk so much. Yeah, that one just slips slowly over time. Uh, that's slippy, is it? <laughs> Old Slippy Joe. Slippy Joe, the microphone stand. <laughs> Don't know where that, how low can it go? Probably the floor. Yeah. Given enough time mm -hmm. <laughs> in time. <laughs> it's my cat's birthday today, by the way, guys. Yeah. Just thought I'd What's share your cat's that. name? Casper. Noise. Yeah. Your friendly cat? Exactly. That's mm -hmm. why I called him that. <laughs> he is a white friendly cat. There we go. Mm. Happy birthday, Casper. And happy birthday for last week, Maddie. Oh, thanks, guys. Appreciate that, that. Yeah, from all the Simpsons index out there. Happy birthday. Oh, wait, it's not my daddy's birthday. Wait, that didn't work as well as it <laughs> no, did. I know what you were going for. 
And that was all your notes? Uh, that is all my notes. I wait, I have not enough notes to fill in the time. Oh, well, excuse... <laughs> I get it. I better hurry up. I'm good. <laughs> Me. <laughs> time for my final note. <laughs> Thank God. Uh. And Vera Wang, I'm wearing one of your outfits right now if you'd like to sponsor us. It looks beautiful. Thank you. I'm wearing your underwear. <laughs> I'm assuming she also makes it. Bridal underwear. No, that's Wang yeah. Vera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I hate myself right now. All right. You uh, shouldn't. That's a quality <laughs> Wang joke. Um, as you said when we were organizing this episode, the reason they failed is they didn't have a good couple name. <laughs> yeah, that's Skin right. Skin Apple? What do we do with this? I don't know. Yeah. Skip apple. Crab binnel? Binno? Crandall! <laughs> <laughs> Flanders and Edna, like, that worked because you could have Nedna. Yeah. Comic book guy and Edna, what are you going to do with that? Mm. Comic Edna. <laughs> comic book, uh, com, com, comic apple? <laughs> no. Com apple. What's his name again? Jeffrey Albertson? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, well done. I can never remember it. Jeffrey <laughs> Albertson, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see myself out. <laughs> Crab apple. Here it Cra- is. Crab, crab apple. Isn't if, he's cra- a- if he's Appleson and she's Crabapple. No, no, no. Albertson. Cra- oh, Albertson. Fuck balls. Of Apple. Crab Albertson. Well. Of Apple. Just slap me with something heavy. <laughs> Wah pedal. <laughs> I know, that's heavy as well. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> yeah, there's a dog here this whole time? Yesterday, that would have been correct. Yeah. yeah, past couple of episodes we've had dogs in the studio. Been good. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't say that. Now James is sad. Yeah, he's sad. <laughs> he knows the dog's been here. He can feel his presence. Maybe watch that episode and now no dogs. <laughs> 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 there were poodles as well, so they're like super floofy. Mm. Yeah. Be- you almost lost me. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, they were strudels? <laughs> sure, you're one of those like dushened people. I don't know. I can <laughs> think of another breed right now. <laughs> Oh, you're a stash hound. <laughs> I'm just trying to think, what's the opposite of a poodle? <laughs> no, you're pretty close. Yeah. A cat. <laughs> no, no, they're pretty they're, close to a cat. They're basically oh, yeah. the same, yeah. Oh, imagine if there were like poodle cats. Never, Rats. Any dog under five pounds is a cat, and cats are pointless. <laughs> I do, I just aesthetically, I was wondering why he it's drawn that Homer's looking off camera while he's delivering this. Like he's not looking at camera, he's not directing the audience. He's telling someone beside yeah, the camera. Yeah, he's like a little bit slightly off center. Yeah, maybe yeah. that's the way Hitchcock did it. Honestly, I, mean, Sim- I don't think so. But no, maybe. I don't think so either. Simpsons front facing is just that. Yeah, cursed. so maybe it's just to avoid Simpsons yep. front facing. Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, because weird drawings. Actually, mm-hmm. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. perfectly but, symmetrical eyes. Yeah, because that's something that we're starting to put up in our social media mm-hmm. promotions is sort of awkward front facing moments and. Oh, yeah. The latest oh. one that we got with Agnes, she looks like fucking ass face from Preacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It makes sense. Look it up. <laughs> I've uh, seen two episodes of Preacher. I, I liked was, Preacher. I just didn't yeah. continue on with it, but yeah. It didn't grab me. Uh, yeah. yeah, I wanted to like it. I got about six episodes mm. in. I just stopped. That's about where I got to. Yeah, yeah. I got two and was like, eh, it's kind of. Pointless. I keep hearing great things, like, but yeah. am I missing something? Yeah. yeah but like. People I don't still think, watch Bob here's, Beautiful. Here's my theory for TV these days. There are so many just fucking low bar idiots who everything is great TV to them. Yeah. It's all great TV. And so if you just talk to lots of people about lots of TV, it's all great. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah. You'll find someone that loves it. Yeah. It's really not. Yeah, There's the, like a lot of shit in average TV. The median's not medium. Yeah. Yeah, it's very low ball. Mm. Yeah. And, that's, and I did once meet a guy who swore he'd never seen a bad movie. I'm like, how? What? <laughs> He's not trying to. I don't know. Like... He saw one, and it was real good. He, he saw, saw The Shining. Shining. Oh, <laughs> like, Damn. <laughs> Elliot, watch The Shining. <laughs> yes. Yeah, was that guy Elliot? No. <laughs> Elliot's seen shitty movies. Oh, yeah, I have. It's a podcast yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> the Sharknado Index. <laughs> Paranormal. Um... Uh, Wellington. Wellington Paranormal. Yeah. He's getting a second season. Nice. Oh, it is? I've heard, yeah. Oh, yeah, I cool. saw that because I didn't realize it had a first one. I'm like, mm-hmm. has this had a whole season that I've not noticed? Well, yeah, I've really got to get on it because I didn't realize it was a spin off from what yeah. we do in the shadows. That's I told you that on this podcast. Where <laughs> is it watchable? How do you get it? Uh, SBS uh, iView. You have yeah, to nice. sign up, but it's free and that's fine. Tweet? 
Yep. Yeah. Cool. I knew it was the same team. I didn't realize it was sort of in universe. Yeah, no, I'm realizing I think I just said it was the same team. I may have neglected that it was uh, in universe. We were both wrong, man. Yeah, it's all okay. right. <laughs> uh, uh, love heart wipe. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Guys, it's getting really awkward in here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's chill out with some zombie radio. Brain. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. Coming out of SideQuest Studios. That, God damn it. Sorry. I've suddenly come down with the case of the sneezy sniffles. Uh-oh. Sneezy sniffles? It's when you're like sneezy and, s- s- well, speaks for itself, really. <laughs> you're like a, a dog with his ear, like, flipped out, like, Mom, help me! Like, flip. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, thank God, I thought I was going to be deformed for life. You mean you're not? <laughs> More so. <laughs> oh. Sorry, it was too easy. Yeah. So, what are some other wacky elements that oh. stuck out for you? For, stood out to you? Look. I always say that. Fucking stuck. Stuck out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to ask Ellie. You've got your ranking like cheat down the bottom there. Can you change it to JCBD? Because <laughs> it's like JCBD. I don't know what that John is. Claude Van Dam. <laughs> it's John Claude Ben Dam. <laughs> Who needs another drink? Easy, Chewy. That's the sort of joke that gets your arms pulled off. You should write for The Simpsons. <laughs> Ow. Oh, Ow. man. Ow. There are some Ow. things you can't take back. That's the worst thing that someone's ever said to me. <laughs> but ultimately, though, guys, did this feel... Do you feel... Do, 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 do you feel... Do you feel eyes... Doing flaming lips. Anyway, you got more of a Kings of Leon thing going. I got a higher end. He really does. Yeah. <laughs> Ow, my sex is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn. You should burn. see a doctor. <laughs> I feel like that's Milas's bit, though. Like Milas. even his grandmother, Milas. <laughs> Milas's bit. Milas. That's like Milady. when people say Milas. Milas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Milas. Bart. Mm. Malouse. <laughs> um, but even his grandmother like shits on him yeah. all the time. So, Incidentally, I've had a background check. They found nothing. So Yeah, that's oh, good. Well, <laughs> they weren't looking hard enough, uh, obviously. Clearly. Well, we've checked your background and we found this tumbleweed, so it looks like you're all right. <laughs> good. The tumbleweed notes everything. <laughs> Don't put him on the stand. <laughs> what would you like to say about the defendant? <laughs> How do you spell that? <laughs> W H H H H H H O O O O. Well, I've got a surprise witness. Crickets. <laughs> and I, she's. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Go. No, no, no. Okay. I really like. <sighs> change. 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 Changes. Turn and face the strange. Time may change me. But I can't change time. That is a total, like, karaoke black hole, that song. It's like everyone knows the chorus, but yeah. try and do the, the verses. It, I'm no like, idea. no idea. <laughs> Absolutely no clue. Oh, it goes, um, Dang. Piper Bags last night, pre flight. <laughs> Zero <laughs> hour, 9 a.m. Are we doing Bo here or Dylan? <laughs> David Dylan. <laughs> Dylan, you Peg son the of a bag bitch. Last <laughs> night, pre flight. And the times, they are a changing. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, was singing uh, some song in the style of Dylan. It was weirdly funny the other day. What was it? So much fun, man. Uh, Ghost of Perdition. <laughs> when, ring, ring, ding. <laughs> when, um, when Rebecca Black's Friday first came out, Ooh, Friday. someone did like a pretty note perfect Dylan <laughs> cover of it, right? In that the notes weren't perfect. You know, just, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there was a lot of, hey, like, a, you know, the start of a, like a Pee Wee 50 mm. revving. But. They had it like had a screenshot of like a record playing, which looked like vintage mm. of Bob Dylan Friday, and they were talking all about in the comments like, yeah, my mum used to you know sing this to me and stuff like as a as a kid, and it was amazing. And people were falling for it, like, oh my god, I didn't realize this was a Dylan cover. And yeah, in hell, in hell, and his blue house and his blue Corvette. And he ain't got nobody to listen to. <laughs> Ooh, wow, what a nice. blue <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was Saturday. <laughs> yes. Yep. Quick, Claire. What's the most meaningless song we pretend is a meaningful Dylan song? Call me, maybe. Oh, no, 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 I've got it. Um, 
I don't want to meet a ghost. <laughs> That's the side that I feel Happy most. Oh. Oh. Grab a head of pizza <laughs> toast. <laughs> and watch the, the news. evening news. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Life? That's Desiree. Life. Oh, Desiree. Oh, oh life. Oh, oh, life. It's terrible. In That's England, good. it won like the worst song ever written. <laughs> it's I fucking up. Deserved there, it. Now, for people who um, aren't aware, which is everyone, I'm going to take that again as well. This is going to be one of those days yeah. <laughs> where I'm going to be mostly editing myself out. And Thank I have you. to sneeze also. Yeah, just, just, just go for it. <laughs> Bless me. That'll make great bonus content. <laughs> <laughs> we have deleted scenes at the end of the episode, by the way. Oh, good. <laughs> That'll be a, a remix version of you sneezing. Choo, 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 uh, choo, choo, At least choo. it's a cute uh, sneeze. Uh, yep. yep. <laughs> I maintain a sneeze is a lot like a fingerprint. No, no two are the same. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was deep. <laughs> yeah, log in with your Apple phone. <laughs> Sneeze right into the home button. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> the future is now. The new Mortal Kombat. Yeah. And like the, the X ray thing. Yeah, that's what I see every time I get my X ray. <laughs> Mortal Kombat ruined my brain. <laughs> Welcome to Mortal Chiropractic. <laughs> <laughs> Adjust him. <laughs> Dr. Scorpion will be with you in a moment. <laughs> Yeah, instead of next patient, it's just get over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's written in. Ma, da, 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 da. Come in and see the good, good, good guys. I know, it's in my head too. <laughs> <laughs> well, get your kettles and heaters. Um, It's fun to ride in one, but it, it's got to be a new one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Without all that bin juice coating it. Mm. Filthy, stinky bin juice. <laughs> Only fit enough for a bin chicken to eat. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be bin chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Actually, I didn't know this for uh, ages. Like, because Americans, you know, they have raccoons. We don't have raccoons over here. Yeah. Their name for them is trash pandas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like how we call Ivis as bin chickens. So now I want like a Nickelodeon cartoon: the trash panda and the bin chicken. Yeah. There's <laughs> a um really fun one page RPG called Crash Pandas where you play as raccoons who are street racing. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to play it. It looks amazing. Um, references to Bob Dylan, or I mean, that might be just for our podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Simpsons. No Eight. cookies till you finish your Sunday. <laughs> it's hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan fans would read into that line way too much. If they yeah. pushed it too hard, then yeah, maybe when everyone stops listening to her at the parade, they would have been like, "Don't listen to this girl. We already know what she's going to say." We also have the question here of, if you could have a sandwich named after you, what would it be? Or failing that, best sandwich? Well, Sandwiches. I don't like salad, so that's yeah. out. No. Because you don't win friends with salad. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. <laughs> um, a sandwich. Bear with, when I say sandwich, that is everything that combines some form of bread with some kind of filling. So if you want to stretch this out into a hoagie, grinder, hero, taco, we burrito. We accept burgers, Jaffles. Hot dog. Technically, they all fall under the uh, blanket of sandwich. Mm, blanket of sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The best sandwich slash hot dog I've ever mm-hmm. had is this little place called uh, Taste of Texas. Mm-hmm. And it's called the Lord of the Rings hot dog. Nice. And on it is obviously your hot dog. And it's got nacho cheese and jalapenos and onion rings. Mm. And that's really good. That sounds good. I think it's our first hot dog on the sandwich index. Mm. Damn young people in your Pac-Man yep. video game. They're just not on the trolley. <laughs> what rubes. Oh, I just wanted to point this out as well. I liked when I was flipping through this notebook and <laughs> the first page I got said, fuck this episode in big letters and then had a giant penis. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking to myself, what episode was that? Yeah, I think there's a page earlier that says this episode is great and has a penis anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I, don't know, I can't remember now. Well, yeah. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't my note. No, that was from David James Young from Hottest 100s and Thousands oh. who, yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> all over all over their guest notebook in his notes. <laughs> so speaking to the quality of the episodes that I showed him. You can tell the difference because on the episode he likes, the penis is ejaculating. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, on the penis it says, freaking epic, dude. <laughs> man, he went to town with the pubes on this, man. <laughs> I, I like that as a review system, how well drawn the penis is is how good the episode <laughs> Episode <laughs> no, like the pubes are on the shaft as well. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, that dick has got shaft pubes. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Hairy for her pleasure. Anyway, I'm bailing out of that one. Um, also, fuck the word upcycling. It's just recycling. It's not different. <laughs> <sighs> or repurpose, at least. Well, I mean, even then, that's what recycling is. <laughs> yeah. Well, then, recycling at least implies that you're, like, melting it down and reconstructing it rather than yeah. repurposing it. But yeah, upcycling is an awkward and annoying word. <laughs> that's it. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> the boot kicked Bart. <laughs> it kicked <laughs> him right, right in the, the butt! butt. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say, this is a uh, callback to before when I was talking about my mum not letting us watch The Simpsons yeah. because, you know, it was a corrupting influence and then mm-hmm. all of that. And now, of course, like, it's so deeply a part of our lives and a part of our family lives that, like, everyone quotes it. Yeah. One of the quotes that my mum will often pull out is from one of the M-rated episodes, like one of the ones where they actually sort of went, all right, let's be a little bit yeah. a little bit edgier. And it's Otto saying, they call them fingers, but I've never seen them fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there they go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, from the weed episode. The mm-hmm. weed episode. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the other question we like to spring on people at this moment is, if you could have a sandwich named after you, what would be that sandwich? Or if that's too tough, best sandwich? Oh, my dear sweet God. <laughs> now, to give some parameters, we classify sandwich as anything that like has chunks of bread anything in bread yeah so yeah. burger is fine hot dog is fine jesus effing christ yeah it's tough I'm not gonna um lie. okay it's going to need to be some sort of club sandwich because i'm a multi-layered individual mm-hmm. it's probably gonna have to be like fake meat i think mm-hmm. to give an impression of like how i talk tough but i care about the planet yeah, yeah. and something spicy on it yeah, and yeah. probably potato to do justice to my irish roots <laughs> there you go Give yeah, me with that. Yeah, yeah. Give me a taste of that. What kind of spice are we talking here? Like, oh, this yeah. is, a, is it a sriracha? Is it jalapeno? Oh, it's what Chipotle, we... motherfucker. Chipotle. The only kind right. that counts. <laughs> Give some me that spice smoke is a wide world. Days, yeah. <laughs> so nice. smoky Chipotle. Yeah, Smoke yeah. me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. With some potato. Yeah, I'm on board. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> we make these questions, and then we're like, that, that sounds delicious. I yeah. kind of want one now. It's the point where I'm thinking less about the ingredients of the sandwich and more about how much yeah. improv comedy terrifies me. <laughs> <laughs> what represents you as a person, though, when it comes anxiety, to Anxiety, fear, and like... <laughs> Can you put anxiety on bread, please? <laughs> We assume listeners go out and watch these episodes so they can listen to our commentary and be like, they got it right. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised we're not watching the episode while we do it so that they can like time the listen out mm-hmm. to yeah. it, you know, like DVD commentary style. Well, I also assume our listeners try to sync every episode up with Dark Side of the Moon. So yeah. there's a lot <laughs> yeah. of audio stuff going on there. Dark Side of the Simpsons. <laughs> oh, we're yeah. there. Every episode post-15. <laughs> For real. Yeah. So I should probably name drop at this point that I you used to work at the Bragg, the Bragg magazine, which, for those who don't know, is a Sydney culture publication. And for that, when we had a supernova coming up, I did actually interview Nancy Cartwright. Fucking hell. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. How, like, did it... Was it weird hearing her voice talking to you? <laughs> yes, because, like... And I'm sure she's used to doing this because she's been interviewed, you know, mm. so many times over the course of the 30 years she's yeah. been doing The Simpsons. The most remarkable thing about it is how you will be talking to Nancy and then suddenly you're talking to Nelson and then you're talking (laughs) to Bart and she just goes in and out of these voices like they're just so immediately accessible to her. Yeah. And that's just wild. Like they're so ingrained within, you know, her instrument that she can just access Mm. them like that, which is, yeah. Pretty yeah. incredible, to be honest. So was it like a face-to-face or...? No, no, this was over the phone. So she was still in America at the time. Uh, they ended up cancelling the Supernova appearance, but there was no way in hell we weren't going to print that interview. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. No, for real. Like, because, yeah, what an amazing voice talent as well. Like, did, what did she say, like, in her characters and stuff to you? Mostly just, like, quotes or, you know, like, she would talk about one of the characters and she would talk about sort of what led to... Nelson coming about and then she would immediately start talking in Nelson's voice. Yeah. And that was her way through, you know, discussing the character as she would just be the character at the time. Yeah. She, I've got to admit, like it did kind of come across a little bit, you know, like she was used to sort of doing the, Mm -hmm. here are the little sound bites. Yeah. She knows knows what people want to hear. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. But I did get a nice tasty clip for a friend of mine. I said to some of my friends, hey, I'm interviewing Nancy Cartwright. You're all Simpsons obsessed. What do you want? Mm -hmm. I wanted to do Ralph Wiggum's 
this like season one line of yes, but <laughs> what man can tame her? Yeah. And she did that, but in like late season Ralph Wickham's voice. <laughs> it was yeah. like, this is a rare gem. That is <laughs> yeah. beautiful. I feel like we haven't got the opportunity because uh, we have this thing where we get to do Elliot to do Ralph's lines in James L. Jones's voice. <laughs> so if we ever got the opportunity, we need to get her to do James L. Jones lines in Ralph's voice. <laughs> All of her characters are high pitched. I know yeah. it's gonna be so funny. Oh well, yeah, very jealous. Like, yeah, I think you're the first person on this show to actually have touched, uh, had some, had any kind of contact yes. with the Simpsons. So oh. if you, you could probably Google that if you just look up the brag Nancy Cartwright, you can find that interview. All right, I just need to catch up to you guys. Talk about yourself. Make some deleted scenes. <laughs> Hello, I'm oh. Joe Far. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. see you then there, buddy. All right. Larry! <laughs> Wait, there's someone called Larry? Yeah, he's one of the Cooperlings. Yeah. Inkling! Well, actually, I had the Wikipedia page for Ryan O'Neill brought up because I wanted to see if he was one of ours. No, no, he's a O apostrophe N-E-A. Ah, uh, the L. right kind of O'Neill. Neal. Neal. Ugh. Ugh. With right. one L as well. No, oh, you need more emphasis. Oh, yeah, most notably Love Story. He was also in Paper Moon, and he had a recurring role in the TV series Bones. Mm. I've only seen one of those. As the father of the series protagonist, Mr. Bones. Is that true? It's really not. No, because (laughs) Mr. Bones was his father's name. God damn. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I'm so happy with myself right Uh... now. Crying like a refugee. I hate that that song. Oh, that's even worse when it's in you headphones like that sorry <laughs> it's, it's even like worse we listening to the song Ow. oh take Ooh. that ba- take, take that bonzi take that cold and or chisel <laughs> <laughs> actually love um, flame trees though keep going flame trees mm, is okay fucking dope yep and uh, case hands yeah <laughs> i didn't know you were a carpenter he's just a fan of jesus oh jesus <laughs> the irony of being nailed to a piece of cross a wooden cross the irony of a carpenter who ended up nailed to a piece of wood yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't have happened if he was a metallurgist or a botanist. Oh, wait, tree. No, he wait. could have still been nailed. There's a lot of things you get nailed to. Mm. Nails are versatile. Like what that. if he was an alchemist? Kaboom! <laughs> when did he make that speech out of curiosity? 92. So we're still part of early Simpsons because they started in, what, 89? This so, is 96. No, no, no. And I'm wondering when he makes the speech as opposed to when The Simpsons started because The Simpsons weren't meant to be the ideal. You're meant to watch them and that thing in satire where you see it and you realize your own failures. Yeah. So this is George Bush not getting The Simpsons. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, I think it's more of a point of pointing to a good example and a bad example. No, I know. Yeah. But I like to mock people who are dead and can't hurt me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, you don't know he wasn't into the occult. He doesn't know I'm not a Ghostbuster. He probably does now if he's a ghost. I reckon they've got like a sixth sense. Well, you know what? Bring it. Look, he's... I've challenged enough <laughs> presidents to fights at this point. <laughs> Why stop there? Careful. You his hit... cardboard cutouts of his sons might come after you. Ooh, I'm so scared of paper cuts. Actually, they're really bad with the cardboard cuts. But just from a little, I can only find five declared residencies. But they are Massachusetts, Connecticut, Texas, Washington, and Maine and Florida. And also... The Earth. He's in the Earth. We do all claim residency of Earth. He's yeah. king of the moon. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am here on a temporary work visa. Please, <laughs> on a diplomatic. Please uh, don't tell Peter Dutton. <laughs> Wait, does it mean you weren't born on Earth? Or? I had to rescind my earthly citizenship. <laughs> you can only have one celestial body as your uh, ah, okay. place of residency. Freaking politics. Uh, uh, that's why you've had your earth tattoo removed. Yeah, well, I had to because Earth Day is the one day I can't be here. <laughs> <laughs> no moon people allowed. Yeah, I have to We're allowed to have one. <laughs> <laughs> you should stop one day. Uh, Come to the moon. We don't have apologies. <laughs> wow, really? You outlawed them or you just don't have them? No, we were going we to outlaw them, but then we'd would have had to apologize so we've just <laughs> taken them out of the charter that's interesting and instead we just have lunar baths <laughs> don't know how that replaces it but sure i think i can i think i can sure you can <laughs> street fighter humor get to your break work. jesus yes 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 podcasting podcasting the Anomaly of Omni. <clears throat> We've got one of her episodes later, I think. Oh, you, oh this was one of hers. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Carolyn, mate. 
Ah, uh, the dream has died. <laughs> Poops in a pink, pale basket. Purple petal, perfect petal. Popping petals, pooping, pushing people downwards. Petal pushes, pushing petal people. Push a little days to make them come up. Shut up. <laughs> That's a great I, song. I second that. <laughs> no, not that bit. Damn it. <laughs> you hijacked my seconding. Coming out. Da, 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 Thank you. <laughs> Hold on. Sometimes you got to work the accelerator and the key at the same you time. Gotta, you got to wait for like the, the sweeping in music and like live from New York. It's O'Neill. Yeah. And the Danny Elf Orchestra. <laughs> I'm Danny Elfman. <laughs> so yeah, instead of this episode that you have produced Simpsons, take my fluffy shit, please. <laughs> and turn that into an episode. Just can't get you out of my head. It's not what we were singing. God damn, it was original jam. I know, I'm remixing. <laughs> Actually, I was doing right in a cage. That's my <laughs> pumpkins. Al Kylie. She is ours. Al Kylie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Al Kylie. Straya. Straya as white. I just can't get you out of my head, mate. <laughs> You're fucking all I think about, eh? You're fucking mm-hmm. sweet, mate. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> First released in March of. 90 what's the year before the 2000s 19 i know nine seems so long ago have you seen into the spider verse yet no no i was i was actually i was meant to watch it tonight oh really but then you called me and i was like oops fuck it i'll drop everything <laughs> oh thanks and man. run to the Simpsons Elliot. index yes <laughs> when the index calls thank you man yes. <laughs> it was like that beam of light <laughs> Batman. Instead of the Batman symbols, the Simpsons index. Yeah. Yep. With great podcasts comes great responsibility. Yes. <laughs> the spreadsheet signal. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Microsoft Excel. <laughs> uh, newsflash Leisha. Fuck what? <laughs> News News Leisha. Oh, oh well, a lot of my tongue is asleep somehow. Oh, if we're doing, yeah, because I just corrected myself. Correction the next, the Great Expectations is Charles Dickens. It's yeah, not. no, I, okay, I realised that right. after good, I said it. Good, just wanted to make sure. Oh, who would we say at the time? I think we said it was Austin. And, uh, yeah. I, I was listening to that like, fuck, it's Dickens. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> what, I, Dickens? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm no, but I only know Pride and Prejudice yeah. and Sense and Sensibility because the basic, the, the same. Yeah, Sense and Prejudice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pride and Sensibility? Yeah. That's... <laughs> That's um, pride. Uh, I'm yeah. trying to think of someone who's prideful and sensible. <laughs> Judy Dench. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's crossword puzzle versus. Fuck that sneeze is gone. Look, uh, uh, yeah. look into the sun. The sun helps you sneeze. <laughs> look yeah. into the clouds. Um, I thought yeah, that helps you die. <laughs> helps you go blind. But, uh... No, if you if you look into a bright light, apparently it does something like it contracts your pupil, and that helps. Something to bring the sneeze out. I it, don't know. It knocks over the little domino, which yeah. then triggers the marble Flips the man ball. And the yeah. rubber dub dub, and then yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Mouse and then the mouse yeah. comes down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then you sneeze, then you win. <laughs> which is something that Sims <laughs> thought someone was whistling. I thought it was the whistling from the start of that Jimmy Barnes screaming clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking hate that song. to get into yeah oh man you were just that has just gone everywhere hasn't it? i am a messy bitch this <laughs> podcast you had it here You're first folks a thirsty slut for water i am just just dribbling everywhere and you don't even care whistling my water bottle <laughs> and... <laughs> is he back doing listen man i am listen man <laughs> i know what you're referring to but okay. that just sounded funny yeah. coming soon in avengers 4 listen man Liam Neeson walked amongst the tombstones. His cock was dragging amongst the tombstones. <laughs> Liam Neeson's cock is so big. Uh, how how big, big is, is it? it? It's so big, it's a whole year older than Liam Neeson. <laughs> Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How, how big, big is, is it? it? He didn't pass a kidney stone. He passed Emma Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. And finally, Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How, how big, big is, is it? it? It's so big, every inch can have its own episode of The Simpsons. Hey, 
I mean, I just realized I'm looking up these Liam Neeson cock jokes on a Tumblr. Are they allowed to say the word cock? Oh, right. It's yeah. in reference to a chicken. R.I.P. Tumblr porn, right? That's Yeah, sucks. I'm very sad. Man, where do I go for sex gifts now? Do I go to Twitter like Dean Norris? Oh, right. I was like, what? Never mind. That's a very niche joke. Well, there's a lot of niche porn on Tumblr that is now lost to the ages. All it's sad. Yeah. It, like Bowsette bloomed in that yeah. garden. <laughs> yeah, goddamn. It, well, yeah. No matter what uh, weird fetish you had, just type it in, add the word Tumblr, and it would pop up, and you wouldn't feel so alone. Yeah, it was simpler, dirtier yeah. times. <laughs> I wonder if someone's drawn Waluigi with a vagina and boobs. Yep, yep, there he is. <laughs> what, okay, well, what about Waluigi vagina boobs, but is also a fox? Yep, yep, that exists. <laughs> Dinosaurs, HMU. Yeah. It's like a, not a furry thing, it's a, like a leathery thing. Scaly. scaly. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm not a furry, I'm a scaly. <laughs> the time zone at Castle Hill, yeah, that was my place. Do you remember that one? I went there for a friend's birthday once. With Johnny Rockets next door? Yes. Yes. Doing the dances like every 30 seconds. Oh, got to respect the dancers. It's just so annoying. It must be like you're trying to serve and you're like, oh, this particular song has been chosen on the jukebox. <laughs> we like, stop everything. And we people are like, what's my fucking food? Like, sorry, we've had to do like five dances in the yeah, last yeah. hour. <laughs> Got to rock. Around the fucking clock again, I guess. <laughs> like, God, like fucking Sega World. That was a oh. disaster. <laughs> Did you ever go there? Once it's with my dad. My experience was bad. Yeah, I waited I think an hour and a half in line to go on some kind of like it was like an undersea adventure and like there was one yeah. point where like a kraken attacks the thing and you've got to like press one button like all of you press it and then like it's the end of the ride and like that was like 2 minutes and yeah. we waited an hour and a half for that. Are you serious? Fuck this place. Oh, that, we just uh, left. <laughs> that was similar, yeah. We waited like half an hour or something. And it was like this minecart ride where like there were oh, yeah. like virtual fires all over the place. And you had it was meant to be that you press a button and you could see water come from the screens, meant to interact the fires, but yeah, the big sign at the start of it, water cannons aren't functional. We apologize for this. So essentially all you're doing is riding around a slow moving minecart where Sonic and his friends are shouting at you, Quick, put out all the fires. Shit's gonna fucking be destroyed. And then at the end they're like, You did a good job. It's like no. We did no job, you liars. <laughs> I just think about it at the end of the thing. It's like you just see Sonic and, and Tails like blackened, charred <laughs> corpses. Like, why? Why didn't you help us? <laughs> Mamma we, mia. We begged you. We begged you. <laughs> Thank I'll you. get you a Barbie Horse Adventures one. Yay! My second favorite Wii game. <laughs> yeah. Behind Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, it goes Mario Galaxy. Bobby Horse Dreamland. Mario Galaxy 2. No, no, no. <laughs> Carnival Games. Then Mario Galaxy oh, 2. Okay. And um, Shovel. The Shovelware game. Such blast. You play as a shovel that... <laughs> makes games. I thought you were going to play Wii Sports Resort. Oh, no, no. Wii Play. Way better. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, along with the stupid UFO. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I hated that. It's so terrible. The cow game's good, though. Anyway. Yeah. It's just a nice little Easter egg for Elliot later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. That Elliot wouldn't know an Easter egg from a Christmas present if it bit him on the penis. Wouldn't know penis. A what from the Christmas <laughs> An Easter egg from ah, a Christmas, Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> He's bad with shapes. Yeah. He liked the new shapes, the ones ah. that they rejig the flavor. <laughs> He is a monster. Nobody liked new And shows. no one will forgive him for that. It was like the biggest controversy in Australia. Exactly. History. Only God can judge. <laughs> but we all judge new shapes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They were disgusting. And if pizza shapes don't have bits on them, they're not pizza uh, no, shapes at all. No, what the, and they, I never even saw any. They didn't have bits on them? No. What, it what, was, what madness was this? The flavor you can see was just like painted on. That's fucking ridiculous. That's the best part of the pizza shape is the, yeah. the bag at the end where you have the yeah. dust. And just the wonder of what are these little bits. Yeah. I don't know what the hell they are. No, but they're delicious. They're not like breadcrumbs. They're too like, it's almost like they're little bits of garlic or something. Yeah, and they, were, they were essential to the advertising as well. Yeah. When you'd like zoom right in and it was like senoritas on trampolines Yeah, and exactly. Stuff. Or like they'd, all the guys at their barbecue. Hmm. There are times when I... I genuinely wonder if he's aware he's president sometimes. Like, you look at some of the tweets and you're like, this was not written by a person who knows they're the president. Okay, he keeps waking up and going, oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah, and no, I think he's um like uh, 51st stating himself. <laughs> no, but there's like one where it's like, you know, your favorite president, and then in brackets, me. And it's like, okay, first of all, if you believe that, you wouldn't feel the need to say it. I think he only just realized in that moment, oh, shit, really? I won that thing? What if you read it in like Ron Howard 
narration <laughs> voice. <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> it was then that they re- America realized they made a huge mistake. <laughs> All country does the, <laughs> the walk. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 As Trump just drops his bag <laughs> and then just slumps on the floor. Just like drops the umbrella outside Air Force One and just walks off like nothing happened. <laughs> With uh, the toilet paper on his shoe. Yeah. I love how Gerald Ford falls down twice and that's all he's known her for forever. Everything about this. And it's like everything just slides off. It's yeah. weird. There's too many things to parody now. <laughs> Oliver Stone's going to make a hell of a movie about it. <laughs> but it's going to come off like a slapstick comedy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one's going to believe this. <laughs> Alec Baldwin is Donald Trump. Oh, fuck. <laughs> is that at full volume? Tap the top one on that side, yeah. The person you are calling <laughs> is not available. Please leave a short message. Uh, we That's planned. <laughs> This is the Simpsons Index. (laughs) Now joining us live via satellite is Jordan Frost. Jordan, can you hear me? Jordan. Oh, God, this is costing so much. Why do we do reshoots? Ah! (laughs) Swoons! Bosom. How about... uh, (laughs) Cuckoo-cuckoo-choo. My pants just do something. You dropped your phone. Yeah. Oh, who needs phones when we've got the internet? It's like you pooped your phone out of your pocket. (laughs) Oh, that's graphic. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Dr. Beach, is it time to crack open each other's skulls and feast on the goo within? Only if we have sriracha. Do we have sriracha? I'm not eating your brains without sriracha. Your house, what's in your pantry? Okay. I guess it should really be in the fridge. Yes, it is. Uh. It's the mayo kind, it's good. Ooh. <laughs> and we're back with the fresh hip hop flavor. I'm your host, and uh, you know you want to savor my flow and my rhymes because they are the dopest. You want to marry me? Let's get a lopest. <laughs> Oh, none of those rhymes went anywhere near where I thought he was going. You know when you start and you're like, oh, wait, I can't freestyle. <laughs> the trick is never start. Or never stop, because you can't, and you won't, and you don't. Addicted to the shindig, what? <laughs> you know Chop Stop says I'm going to win big? Hmm. Ah. All right, podcasting in the AM feels weird. Hello, and welcome to mornings on the index. Yeah, it's going to be like AM radio. Yeah. And that was the classic hit Smooth by Carlos Santana featuring Rob Thomas. Yep. Not many people know this, but when this was produced in the studio, it was the same time as in a different room at the same studio, Vivian Schneider was recording the third movement to the quintet's Bullshit. You were doing so well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so <laughs> well. <I> froze. <laughs> yeah, Carter's still alive. History's greatest monster. <laughs> oh, man, that's changed. <laughs> well, history just Twice. keeps going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is a choose-your-own-adventure about a guy who's developing a choose-your-own-adventure game for the Commodore. That's, mm. wait for it based on a Choose Your Own Adventure book. Get out of town. And then later on in the story, he becomes paranoid that someone from the future is controlling his actions. Oh, oh, it's so meta. (laughs) Is it lonely up your own ass, Black Mirror? (laughs) Yeah, without giving too much away, one of the choices you're given in the movie is Netflix. Yeah. (laughs) And chill or just... (laughs) Yeah. I think we all go through that stage as a writer of being like, wow, Mm. I'm so fucking clever. I'm just... Man, I am just the fucking cleverest thing in the world. Man, it's the problem with Black Mirror sometimes. Yeah. Can't you just step back and look at yourself and be like, this is garbage. This is is indulgent. (laughs) You can't when you're up your own ass. It's very hard to step backwards. No, I reckon Black Mirror... (laughs) (laughs) I just it synced into my brain what yeah. I just said then. It's a very visual. <laughs> ha! Ha! <laughs> Good friend, Tresha. <laughs> <laughs> or was that Joan Rivers? <laughs> it was Joan Rivers. <laughs> I don't think I have to have Ovum to say that was a little on the... Oh, shit, there's I a know. pun here, isn't there? Uh, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll move on.
Yes. Write in, leave leave a like and subscribe. I mean, a, a witty repartee, and we'll insert this later. Yeah, like <laughs> and subscribe is how we say goodbye. So we're, like we're, and subscribe we're midway through the episode. <laughs> like yeah, when I was saying goodbye to my mom the other day, Merry Christmas, like and subscribe. So oh, you too, like and subscribe. Yeah, hey, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Good impression of my mom. It was tough to say like and subscribe to my grandfather on his deathbed, but (laughs) I'm glad I made it. (laughs) Oh, man, you guys are so fellow kids. You're so in touch with the zeitgeist. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) And don't forget to hit that subscription (laughs) bell (laughs) so you get notified of new content. Oh, that's that's a keeper. Oh, yeah, so... Till death. um, Do you part. Till like and subscribe to you part. (laughs) Barge, uh, Bart Summer barge. Montage. Yeah, I know. Barge. <laughs> barge and Morge and Homer. <laughs> Morge. Eat pant. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, BT? Uh, wait, I haven't set it up. All right. So, BT, what about... What, duh, duh. I'm not good at hosting anymore, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got, I got pie down to like 100 places now. Ready? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, 3.161872832529. Uh, seven, 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 <laughs> Batman symbol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prove him wrong, folks. Prove him wrong. I was just thinking. Sorry, while you were talking, I wasn't listening. I was thinking because. I'm a fucking asshole. I'm sorry. I am sorry. No, I was listening. But um, I was sitting there thinking, Elliot said, Elliot said, you can probably trim like a couple of seconds out of this bit. I always do. <laughs> Funny hat propeller guy. Steve Buscemi from Happy Gilmore? Uh, you're thinking Mr. Deeds. No. no Happy I'm Gilmore. Not. What's the one where Steve Buscemi's the sniper in the end? He's a post officer? I don't know what happens to animal films are you been uh, watching. No, it's, Little it's, um, it's, uh, it's uh, when he goes back to school. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Look, all Adam Sandler movies are garbage. Prove me wrong, children. Prove me wrong. They are all garbage. Wedding Singer included. Oh, I yeah. hate wedding. Garbage. What about... Garbage. Um, what's that one where he's dying and then he's not... Oh, you know the one oh, where he has cancer. Stand-up and he, comic. And he's uh, play, oh, funny he's people. playing himself. Yeah, I don't yeah. consider that a Sandler movie. I consider that a Judd Apatow movie. Well, yeah, it doesn't just, count. But I know what you're saying. I just, just a counter argument. Elliot's point. <laughs> Dang, he got me. Sorry for audience at home. I'm making the jerk off motion. But yeah, like audience at home will know my deep hatred for Adam Sandler movies and like funny people. Like in retrospect, becomes that much worse because. Adam Sandler's like playing an Adam Sandler type yeah. who makes a bunch of shitty Adam Sandler movies and the movie comments on how shitty these shitty movies we are. All yeah. that would be the end. You can't suddenly like get out of jail free like that. What about 51st thought... Dates? That's not a bad movie. That's fucking crap. Yeah. I don't care. It's a rip off of Groundhog Day. Day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so... It's creepy rapey when you think about it, bro. Everything's creepy rapey when you Dude, think about it. girl that can't remember yesterday and you keep like manipulating her to fall in love with you? It's like Groundhog Day <laughs> is no, no, creepy rapey. Yeah. Groundhog Day mostly but then they all, Andy McDowell also gets creeped out by him when he gets creepy rapey. At least in 51st, he does always try and woo her. Yeah, they still play him as the good guy. Yeah, that's true. And I, again, I haven't seen this in cinema, so I couldn't tell you. But, um, so you think Funny People was going to be the turning point for Adam Sandler where he'd stop making shitty Adam Sandler movies and then fucking Jack and Jill is the next movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I haven't seen Punch Drunk Love. Oh, that is actually really good. Oh, yeah. All right, fuck Adam Sandler. Spend way too much time talking about him. <laughs> Danny, do you have any other notes? I'm sorry, he has a really interesting career path. Anyway. I'll try it again. <laughs> Lil's War, you not me. I'm Danny Rosewell. Okay, so I was thinking that we really sort of talked good about... <laughs> Superman, Superman talks, talks good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to fork you like an animal. Wait, why can't I say fork? <laughs> You know I mean fork, not fork, right? <laughs> you are a messy bench that loves drama, and I am so into it. <laughs> and we're back. Hi, we've just watched episode 35 of season 74 um, <laughs> of the Seinfeld Index. The so- Globulons attack. <laughs> <laughs> the Simpsons Index of the future when the Simpsons become Seinfeld in season 48? I don't yeah. know. The Seinfeld. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. <laughs> All right, we are back, and we just watched our classic and final episode of episode 144. Uh, fuck. What? <laughs> <laughs> How many episodes have we done up here? <laughs> I got a lot of episodes, and you're all going to hear about it. <laughs> I would have liked that bit more. Oh, shit, I should save that further. What would you change? Uh, hang on, let me try the other thing again. 
what would you change about this episode? Am I <laughs> Eel? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Where everything happens so well, Ian. I'm still looking at the kings. You know that episode? <laughs> what would you change about it? It's, it's Elliot Sling Blade. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I sure like them French fried potatoes. I, like I did like the way that Mark Zuckerberg delivered the line, um... Don't oh, fuck God. with the Zuck! No, it was... <laughs> you know the most Aussie thing that I just thought of just then? Yeah. Is that, like, Ruth... Say it, Aussie. <laughs> Ruth is, like, the Rachel Griffiths to <laughs> Marge's Tony Collette. Fuck, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you broke him. Yeah. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew that's what it would take? I had no idea. You take a photo it's, of Elliot breaking. It's just, like, <laughs> just a random Muriel's wedding. Just <laughs> quote. Like, I weirdly nowhere. know exactly and not a yeah. fucking clue what oh, you're talking geez, about. Oh, jeez Louise. <laughs> Oh shit! You know oh. why don't you just fuck off, Chuck? That's that's Ruth Powers. Yeah, yeah. you terrible Muro. Shiver me timbers. Yeah, that's great. A matchstick ma- a matchmaker, a matchstick maker. <laughs> Someone's gonna make him. Yeah. So, uh, what would you change? Oh shit, man! Like fucking. Um, I, I, you know, mm, you, mm. Mm. Oh, fuck, mm. fuck, um. I would add put- more fuck to yeah. the episode. Yeah. More fuck. <laughs> Simpsons porn parodies. <laughs> yeah. Gorvidal's like, right before I wrote... Oh, shit, I can't think of Eggs, bacon, and toast. That'll do. Mm. <laughs> was that on a menu I Gotta saw once. start the way the Gurgitch way with eggs, bacon, bacon and toast. Eggs, bacon, and to- <laughs> toast. Um, well, i got to speed that up there. <laughs> yeah. And that's what makes this episode so good yeah going against that sitcom trope of like you know dad fixes everything and the mm. kid has a very fixable problem as well like yeah this boy was oh, mean yeah. to me well you know don't get let him get to you well, like now, mm. you know all bullies are cowards all you have to do is stand up to him and everything will be fine at the end of 30 minutes well, you try yeah. talking to him maybe you'll find that you guys have a lot more in common than you think yeah, you're gonna now find you- the biggest bully in the schoolyard and knock him out <laughs> 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 no jordan jordan that's prison prison, that's prison. <laughs> prison yard schoolyard there's literally no difference. I will be teaching my child prison rules. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that the, the other way. Colonel is like one of the worst spelt words, right? Uh, it's ridiculous. It's French, though. Colonel. Anyway. Colon L. Take it away, Beach. Where should he take it? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is The Simpsons Index, the podcast where we rate and review three episodes of The Simpsons at a time. But the catch is, each episode must come from a different decade. And joining me tonight is the actual host of The Simpsons Index, Elliot J. O'Neill. You stole my bed! You fucking stole my bed! <laughs> Luckily, I'm an orphan owned by the studio. <laughs> we also have Danny Rosewell. I'm Danny Rosewell. And Jordan Frost. I'm not. <laughs> Danny Rose. Well, I thought that was obvious. Sorry, I thought it was implied. He said you were Jordan Frost, and you said you're not. Also, B minus because you said rank and review instead of watch and review. I don't say watch and review. I say rank and review. <laughs> it's a it's a perfectly cromulent. Is word. it a catch it or a twist? I forget. I'm going with twist now because people keep saying it's not really a catch, and they're right. But it's just it's like how I say decade. It's not what it is. It's just a shorthand. Because yeah. no, no, it's actually one of the three predefined eras that I made up. Yeah. It's Mr. Simpson's God. Uh, yeah, I know. My a shit, wizard right? did it. <laughs> Call it a 10 aid, and then they can't argue with you. Well, they can, because the first one is only one to nine. Yeah, but it feels like <laughs> 10 years. Anyway, real <laughs> intro now. <laughs> Coming out of SideQuest Studios, this is the Simpsons Index. Uh, what are we calling? Fucking Ocean Alley. I fucking hate all their stupid faces. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I've agreed with the Triple J Hottest 100 since the 90s, but... <laughs> Fair enough. It was the first proof that um, democracy had failed when the Rubens won with hoops. And then <laughs> after that, Brexit and Trump. So <laughs> that was our warning that democracy was faltering. All downhill from there. Yeah. I liked how he didn't realize that everyone was mad at him. Because their lungs will thank him for mm. squirting out that cigarette. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I guess when I was watching this back in the day, back when I was a smoker, that scene pissed me off because, oh, if someone did that to me, oh, oh, oh. I mean, you, you'd give them such a looking out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm you're, a pacifist. You're I'm very pacifist. Pacif- <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I guess over here it's a different story because they're so much more expensive. Yep. Well, in jail, you know, they they 
Yeah, fun fact, they're actually cheaper to get in prison than they are in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Is Australia prison? Yeah. Ooh. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were a convict island. That's why they're so expensive to get smokes here. It all makes sense. Oh my God, we're in prison. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking unpleasantly hot. Yeah. <laughs> Cigarettes are really expensive. <laughs> makes sense. And snitches get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> it all fits. Yeah, I mean, that's how it went with me. I mean, do you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> Uh, I'm funny. <laughs> so ultimately, though, would do what? Sorry. Oh no, I said. <laughs> <laughs> I breathed. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought you said. I sniffled. <laughs> oh, sounds of air. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, just going. I'm so impressed you can do that without <laughs> literally twiddling your thumbs. <laughs> Coming off in KBL, we got the freeze that pees. Hey. In the morning. It's the morning, Joe. In we the got morning. A, we got a lot of buttons. Morning. Morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold and it smells. <laughs> That's the way it came. Oh, ooga. No, taxi, maxis. <laughs> You're talking to me. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. You had me at hello. Uh, fucking, what was the main overarching point that I was making before I got distracted with Willie's bag pipe? Oh, yeah. I always get distracted by Willie's bag. <laughs> I like he said bag, and then to recover, you said pipe, and they both mean <laughs> something dirty in different contexts. Yep. <laughs> Especially when he kisses owies as well. With a rake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, is the Orville good? I watched, like, four or five episodes on a plane, and... Air travel makes me, like, really emotional, and I tend to like things a lot more than I normally would, but I got a lot out of it. Okay, cool. Yeah, because, I mean, that's, like, it's doing yeah, right. really well, apparently. I'm good for that. I haven't seen it at all yet. Yeah. Uh, I can be very judgy when I see it because I grew up on Star Trek. So. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, that because I didn't, and, mm. you know, to be quite honest, I used, like, Star Trek as a sleeping pill for a while there. But, like... Which way do you take the pill? Uh, th- shelves it. <laughs> <laughs> Just shelve some Picard. That's what I wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> I make it so. Um, <laughs> They're funny yeah. names. Yeah, yeah, funny names. Exactly. Like and Cucamonga. Any, <laughs> yeah, anytime the joke is quick. Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh What was your note, sorry? And I'm just doing bad New Yorker impressions now. Hey, doing a bad hey. New York accent hey. over here. I'm impersonating here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> While the unprepared are still sitting around twiddling their thumbs and going Dad, the plan! I'm getting to that! So anyway, they're going Dad! So anyway, we get in our car and take the bridge out of town. While all the while, they're still going Dad, they're firing the rocket! Oh my God, I've been wearing shorts again. That's twice this year. <laughs> yeah, well, I knew I was going to be in this room for most of the day, and it gets hot in here. I... Yeah. Oh, so take off all your clothes. I didn't even know he had calves, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm convinced that he was just Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> gets to eat ice cream. BT, for better or worse, what is a moment for the... BT Callaway. Fuck. How do I talk? <laughs> uh, no, I got nothing from the All right. Yeah, no, no. Well, no I, I, know I, I know I looked like I had to say something, I was just burping internally. <laughs> no, you weren't. I heard it. Well, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're insane. I am mic'd. <laughs> hot mic, hot mic. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Google Histories, a friend of mine is a building manager, and so he sits in an office, and it's right near where a thousand people walk out every day to get to their cars and stuff. Mm-hmm. And he had a replacement guy come in and sit in the gig for a, a day or two. And when he came back in, he was looking through the, the search history. Oh dear. And 80% of the guy's search history was watching people play backgammon on YouTube. <laughs> and then the other 20% was a series of increasingly specific searches. Um, what will the world be like when humans are no longer around? <laughs> that was all the guy looked up for two days. Wow. Yeah. He's really thinking ahead. 
Yeah. For the end of the world so and what he's going to do after. He's found out the world ends and Backgammon becomes yeah. the new, like, Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of creepy in a way that you can't describe. Yeah, that's kind of like someone's just, <laughs> yeah, oddly specific creepy. Yeah, yeah you you can't ever figure out your mindset to be in those two places at once. That's amazing. Like, that's one of those things where it's almost weirder than porn. Like, yeah. yeah. It would be easy to understand if you just looked up some porn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, it's inappropriate, but you would be like, I thought you were going to say mm-hmm. absolutely porn. <laughs> when yeah. you went 80% of it, like porn. It's when the Backgammon motive like, oh, becomes the massive day. question. <laughs> yeah. like, what was going on for two days? Bungee junkings. Uh, bungee junking. Well, I, I'm, I'm exactly on the bell curve. I am exactly normal. <laughs> Think of how stupid the average person is and then realize that half of them are dumber than that. Exactly. <laughs> Those are the people that are on the taco bell curve. Uh, uh, get out. Uh, <laughs> get out. <laughs> uh, BT, any other notes? Nope, I'm all out. James, any other notes? Oh, I've closed my little book. May I have one minute? Oh, can we go to Phil and come back to me? Phil, any other notes? Don't come back to me. I'm done. Why don't you fill in this dead air? Oh. Is your place as hot as hell? Well, you need ghosts. You need to start putting those undead people to work. Wait, are that ghosts also the undead? Mm, Technically, no, because they'd be like a walking corpse is usually the undead. Yeah, but they're still... They're around. They're a spirit. They're a specter. Mm. They're a... To clarify that. Yeah. I think you need some kind of corporeal form to be undead. Corporeal? Va- yeah. Physical. Oh. Uh, so vampire, zombie, cobble corpse. Uh, cobble corpse? A technical term for Frankenstein. Learning so many technical terms yeah. for other things today. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I learned in all those Dungeon Master manuals? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How to surprise you with a giant sandworm. <laughs> Often. Do you guys get a sandworm as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got a photo of your sandworm. You guys did it much harder than we did. <laughs> we literally just went, it's how big? Let's run away. <laughs> well, you yeah. know, that thing that was supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Danny miraculously jumps on top of it. And I'm like, I take a couple of swipes. It does nothing. I'm like, uh, Danny, you do you, man. I'm out of here. The trouble is he rolled like a 20 and then a 19. And yeah. so he was like, oh yeah, we can kill this. Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> On the Simpsons Index, we... The Index. I added a G mm. into there. Nailed it! Check <laughs> it. Like Marge's mild frustration when she's just like, oh, Homer traded our tools for M&Ms again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, toolbox playlist, uh, the one where he has a spring-loaded toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys remember Pen Pineapple Apple Pen? Like oh, Pico yeah, Tara. yeah, I do. Yeah. I have a pen, I have an apple, apple I, pen. I remember you and Jordan singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pinko Taro has recently done a run of, like, Hungry Jack's commercials, and this fucking bugged me as a musician, because... <laughs> the as a musician. Ho- yeah, the hook of the song was, Pen Pineapple, Apple Pen. And Hungry Jack's rewrote this as, Summer Barbecue Pineapple Whopper. Oh. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, no. And so... <laughs> Because it bugged me enough, I transcribed both of them and like showed how different and like this is why your yeah. parody was shit. Is that like sure as Kilimanjaro rises like Olympus above the Serengeti? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, how many words can you cram into that <laughs> sentence? <laughs> Gotta take a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, ten minutes to MacGyver, and we are back. And we just watched our classic and final episode for the evening. This was season. Nope, I got that around the wrong way. Sorry, I wrote season six, episode eight, but it's episode eight, uh, six of season eight. Waka waka. And we are back, and we just watched our... Fuck. I'd already done that bit. <laughs> Take three. Woo. I'll just start again. And just double-checking, that's a name you'd want to use for... Yeah, uh, yeah it's, a, it's a name I like well enough. Yeah. <laughs> that's it's the name I was given at birth. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah, that's your professional working name as well, and what you want to be advertised as. It's and... a good one. Excellent. All right, and and I pronounced it right. Yeah. Wasn't a silent T. No. <laughs> Om. Omus. <laughs> I meant on Bert, but that's even funnier. <laughs> and Om th- Bert. <laughs> like we've changed traditions. We used to like traditionally burp uh, into Mike, and now we open beers into Mike. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, because I told you how I was listening to like episode four the other day. <laughs> no. Because, yeah, going down and recording with Shut Up and Take My Podcast, so... Mm. Thought I'd just see what we said about the Simpsorama, the Futurama oh, yeah. crossover. Oh, that was then. episode four, geez. Yeah. All the way back in the first Friday July of the Index. Wow. All right, so there's a lot to cover there. So, <laughs> <laughs> 
Beij invented a holiday called Fry July. Yep. Which is where you celebrate yep. Futurama or July. Yep. That's a really good plan. Because people are like, oh, it's Dry July. I'm like, that's stupid. What about something good? Like Fry <laughs> July. I like that And lot. it's fun because every year it's I'm the only person making that hashtag. <laughs> oh, I should tell the baby beard guys about it. Yes, they'll, you should. They'll probably get into it too. And then there'll be two <laughs> Instagram and feeds then acknowledging. It spreads. <laughs> You're gonna have three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Fry July spreading. We've tripled our numbers. If these trends continue, I need to get hey. the box sets beyond four. All right. Because yeah, I've been like revisiting some of the the newer Futuramas, and I think they get a bad rap. You know, I think the, it only started getting bad in the last season. The Comedy Channel era. Yeah. I, I don't even know if it's that bad. It just gets really avant garde. Yeah. Yes. I think they were just like. Well, fuck it, we're going to get cancelled anyway. Let's do whatever the hell we want. Yeah. Like, yeah. But yeah, in the Comedy Central era, like they got a lot more dirty and like risque mm. and sexual and stuff. So I think that was like a bit too much for some people. Yeah, fair like, enough. Like I know my friend who has kids, she was like, okay, that episode where Bender was having explicit sex with the soda machine robot was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> it's a good episode though, Bev. Yeah. <laughs> Fellows, this may be a reference to the pudding cup snack in America. Oh. I'm not certain... But right in, Pudding. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, hello. Hello, Pudding. (laughs) Welcome back to Talking with Pudding. (laughs) The Swedish zebra. Swedish zebras are carnivals? No, they're just very fond of euthanasia. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Also, it almost sounds like a tongue twister. Swedish zebra. Swedish zebra. Swedish zebra. Swedish zebra. (laughs) That house. And that was all your notes? That is all my notes, Swedish Zebra. Swedish Zebra, what else we got? We haven't added to our list of tongue twisters in a very long time. No, let's, let's, let's review some classics. Swedish Zebra. A synonym for cinnamon. Yeah, what do a I synonym all? for cinnamon. A synonym for cinnamon. A synonym for cinnamon. A synonym man, you have cinnamon. been really practicing your voiceover <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. work. You're, all that like, elocution, man. Yeah, very eloquent. Crack out the classics. Uh, my favorite is still... Omer and Uma own uh, Omer and Uma own an Okra Puma. Bob Loblaw's law blog. Yeah, that's on here. <laughs> that's a low blow. Fuck, that's a low blow Loblaw. Along with Bob Balaban's ballad band. She sat upon the balcony, inexplicably mimicking his hiccuping and amicably welcoming him in. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> noise. <laughs> I'm assuming this is all going in the podcast. Oh yeah, for sure. At least in the bonus Deleted scenes. scenes yeah. <laughs> so that was it for your notes. That's it for me. Beach. The question. Oh, yeah. So we have another question we'd like to ask, and um, I apologize, it is a tough one. But if you could have a sandwich named after you, what would it be? Or if that's too tough, best sandwich? Oh, man. Yeah. Um, Give me a panini mm-hmm. covered in antipasto, yeah, yeah. stuffed with feta, sprinkle a little bit of blue cheese in there, not too much to overpower the feta because you don't want to mix your cheeses like that, mm-hmm. but just a shit ton of antipasto. And then shove it inside me. <laughs> <laughs> toasted or non? Oh, strong toasted. Yeah. And Get a little melty on the cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a secret sandwich board hidden in our website, you know. And it's not that well hidden. <laughs> 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 I'm not that good at building websites. <laughs> you took and build a not-so-great website with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy to make an average website. Yeah, wait, <laughs> why don't I look to Squarespace for a sponsorship? I, we should. Yeah, and if they don't say yes, threaten to switch to Wix. It's every other podcast. Yeah, yeah, for real. That and like stamps dot com. <laughs> stamps dot com. About to do the Mark Maron stamps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful! And I'm your host, Elliot at Je- de- 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 I'm J- Julius the Camel. <laughs> Brand new character for the <laughs> yeah. show. Uh, yes, I'm the wacky sidekick. So, guys, what did you think? Oh, it's like Danny Rosewell is in the room with us. <laughs> I'm Danny Rosewell. <laughs> I'm Danny Rosewell. Oh, man, we got to do a Spartacus thing. <laughs> no, I'm Danny Rosewell. Yeah, we'll do that to him next time. Uh, we're <laughs> yes. on a podcast with him together. He'll do it. No, I'm, I'm Danny Rosewell. <laughs> Just don't put this in so he learns yeah. about our plan. Yeah, it's like, oh, whenever I listen to my voice, I'm like, oh, you dopey motherfucker. Just put on like a news presenter voice. Mm-hmm. Sound like a person. Around the time that, yeah, we got Optus Vision in our house and Ooh. Foxtel later and... You were just seeing, like, cheetah and giraffes everywhere? What? <laughs> you had Optus Vision. What's an Optus? Optus, the telephone company. How do cheetahs and leopards come because into it? Because their whole marketing campaign was about, like, African animals. 
<laughs> what? Do you remember that? No. The My Zoo and everything. It was like oh. they all their ads were about like animals. Oh. I thought this... their slogan was Optus. It's us or Telstra. <laughs> yeah. Holiday last year, and one of her doddering friends was there, and I was sort of making everyone dinner. You know, just a basic bitch pesto pasta sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And she goes, "Oh, you should go on Master Chef." And I'm like, okay. And then the next person walk in the room. I just said he should go on Master uh. Chef. <laughs> and then we sat down to dinner, and people were like, yeah, decent food, Elliot. And she's mm. like, I think he should go on Master Chef. <laughs> mm. No, I could go on Master Chef as long as I had my HelloFresh box with me. <laughs> and yeah. you were stoned as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Your and stoned my pot cooking butter. is amazing. <laughs> just yeah, smoke this first. Wait half an hour. Then try my food. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, Elliot, your challenge was to use smoked salmon. Wow, well, well, I made nacharoni cheese. <laughs> it's good. Eat it. <laughs> there might be salmon in it. I, I'm made... I don't know. Salmon's uh, stupid. It e- did it. make a bong out of a salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? It's like smoked. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah, see, when you use it, it's like you're making out with a fish. Yeah, what would be worse, putting the mouthpiece on the mouth or the anus of the salmon? Anus. <laughs> Maybe the, the answer is always anus. <laughs> That's That would be worse. Maybe yes. you use the gills instead. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway. Um, uh, no, wacky wacky wacky. Did yeah. you hear that? I did. That was weird. Yeah. Was that like a... Elliot just echoed through time. I wonder if it's on the playback. I wonder if... Because um... my brother was meant to drop around today to drop off a day bed, so... Oh, and I have a message. Oh, is it outside? And I just yelled really loudly and I may have interrupted your recording. Oh, no. Hey, I'm running out of time today. I might bring the day bed around another time if that's cool. <laughs> so he's not then, outside? So he wouldn't be. So we just have ghosts. Yeah. That sound like Elliot. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm going to design the new mascot. Unless one of you drinks me. No, it. Unless one of you jinxes me. No, we're go- Who's just like, like, squ- it's like, not squatting, but like, uh, pressing or what do you call it clean and jerk he's clean and jerking a huge huge amount of weight yeah well done they need to contemporize change it a little deb (laughs) and uh, give us some face give us some face tattoos and uh, yeah be all good make that chick's face look like she was a desk in detention (laughs) um (laughs) and i think that'll be good but is it too loud if you do this Is it too loud if we do this? <laughs> yes, that was quite loud. Yeah. yeah no. Okay. Well, there we go. I have a new metric. What up, milkshakes? <laughs> Stay fresh, cheese bags. <laughs> I've got blisters on me, Chungus. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> I remember when fucking. <sighs> remember when fucking. <laughs> When Bioshock Infinite came out and people were like, oh, if only Roger Ebert had lived to see this, a game that's truly arch. Bad game to start with. (laughs) Start with Pac-Man and work your way up. I mean, I should not get into that either. It's pronounced Pokemon. (laughs) Good. I like it. I prefer prefer the sequel, Miss Pokemon. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, that is good. It's a bit more difficult. What are we talking about again? The Simpsons? (laughs) Uh, Homer dumping the treadmill in an obvious note to the Simpsons movie that hadn't come out yet. Never mind. Now yeah, who cares? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just remembering some details about the Simpsons movie and realising that I'm going to have to watch big it again. Big dick full of pig crap. <laughs> <sighs> the big pig crap dick. So thick. Um, <laughs> fuck, there's a lot of disambiguation on Wikipedia. <laughs> disambiguation. Disambiguation. Can't Mis- be fucked. Let's misappropriation. Get to fuck. <laughs> So I'm here with Pods in the Key of Springfield, and now we are reviewing Pods in the Key of Snickers. Guys, what did you think? (laughs) What, of the Snickers? The Snickers pods we're eating? Yep. Okay, uh, yeah, they're they're one of my favourite pods flavours, I think. I'm a big fan. We we ranked chocolate bars at some point on our podcast, didn't we? We have indeed done that at some point. I believe Snickers was my number one or two. I don't know. These days, I'm I'm leaning heavy on the Kit Kat Chunky. I don't know. I think Snickers was my number one. I prefer the Kit Kat Chunky. (laughs) That was <laughs> um, do because I, it's so thick, or so thick. Uh, but yeah, these Snickers pods, pretty good. I feel like chicken tonight. Like chicken tonight. Excellent. <laughs> um, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> um, I think I prefer them. Wait, are, are there Twix pods? There are. Yeah. Yeah. See, I think conceptually they're they're my favorite. Whether they're my actual favorite, not sure. But conceptually, they feel like it. Because mm, that's just who you are. It's just who I am. Just who you are. Was that an intentional crossover to get the pods for pods? Yep. 
They should have just sung Yellow Submarine. That we only live in Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine. Pods in the key of Springfield. Papa? Like talking to someone the other day about how cute wombats are, but also how much they'll fuck you up. Oh, oh like, yeah. You know what? They're fast motherfuckers. Yeah, too. yeah. They're just little tanks of muscle. Like, <laughs> like we, had, we had one that was because we used to live in a cul de sac. My friend just knocked on the door one day, and then he's like, "There's a wombat outside." And I went outside. We're in a cul de sac where no cars go in suburbia, and sure enough, there's a wombat chasing oh. kids. Holy oh, shit! Oh, just no. chasing Whoa. kids and keeping up with them. It was I mean, a scary they're moment. They're pretty territorial, no? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Their territory shouldn't be suburbia, though. No, no. <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> that's no, that's not right. No, uh, yeah, a wombat was squatting in one of our houses. It's paying rent. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's paying rent. That's not squatting, man. Um, <laughs> my name is Ellen. It's better than, <laughs> that's better than a lot of flatmates. Yeah, right. Don't yeah. call me Wombo. <laughs> <laughs> Wombo. Have you tried changing it to W for Wombo? <laughs> SpongeBob's joke. Yep. Did someone say the water temple? <laughs> <laughs> Death count, Sean. Uh, One. They kill Mrs. Glick in this episode. Yeah, they do. I, which I completely forgot towards the end because I saw her with Jesus. Fuck, yeah. fuck that bit, oh by the way. God. I was like, oh, when did she? When did she die in Simpsons canon? You're like, yeah. earlier this episode. I have a gripe here. I know that like Simpsons is not going to address this, but Jesus wasn't white. Yes, I was <laughs> yes. just about to say that. Jesus I'm is a so Middle glad Eastern. You that up. He's a Middle Eastern Jewish man. <laughs> I'm so glad you brought that with up. With probably black curly hair, yeah. at least dark brown. Yep. He lived in Egypt for what, like twenty years. <laughs> He's got a tan. He's got a tan, at least. Like, like, oh, and I'm so mad at the Romans. For no, he's a white him... guy with, with wavy hair and red sash. Yes, yes. You of know course. A yellow of guy. Of course, my bad. Yeah, and he's also... yellow, a yellow guy, my apologies. To be fair, he's yellow, so. And also, whip my buggy is a cool, uh, that really whips my buggy. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice old timey <laughs> expression. That yeah. was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Anyway, I want to see the it. moment where Ralph eats a troll doll. Is BT a giant robot that you can pilot, by the way? That's uh, funny you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just finished playing Titanfall 2 where your friendly robot baddie is called BT. Uh, really? <laughs> yes. Oh, he will love that. <laughs> <laughs> there's also um, Goodbye is short for God be with you. There's a really, really? good uh, yeah, there's a really good stand-up comedy clip for a guy extrapolating on that because he's like, it was a way to acknowledge that life was full of danger and you said... <laughs> To you, good sir, I may not know what lies ahead for you or the horrors that may await, but God, God be, be with thee. Nice. <laughs> so good. Well, like, ha- howdy, of course, is howdy. how do you do? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. These little things that we've That's contracted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and these days, the uh, contractions are like, y'all aren't, <laughs> which is short for <laughs> you all aren't. Yeah. Are yeah. not. <laughs> y'all would have. <laughs> y'all would have. That's crazy. Y'all wouldn't. <laughs> y'all would have <laughs> Have you guys seen that parrot that's like, I gotta kiss the babies? <laughs> like it's talking to its babies and it's like, I gotta kiss the babies. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> it's so cute. I love that. Now, the only talking bird in my life is the <laughs> hurting me. What? Hurting me. <laughs> what? Twin, oh, peaks. No. Twin Peaks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hurting wow. me. Oh, God, yeah. Hurting me. I completely forgot about that. I like the dream. Then lives inside I saw one where a woman had trained Dark. her parrot to kind of sing uh, Making Bacon Pancakes. Making pancakes, uh, making bacon, bacon, bacon pancakes. pancakes. Take the bacon and, and then you put, put it in a pancake. Bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes. <laughs> Have you seen when they remixed it to New York? Yes. Like, yeah. yes. Da, 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 da. New York. Oh, that New York. It works really well. I, sp- I feel like when I saw the shot of him drinking, you can cut the, the me pausing and the stutter there. When you see the shot of him, when you see the shot of him, I'll cut that too. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> There's a bug on my mic. Eat it. I already flicked it away. You've seen Ooh. Elliot talking about seeing one giving birth. That's different. And even then, 
It may have been Supp- taking a shit. Supposedly. <laughs> it was just gassing us with its eyeballs. <laughs> One on. There Two we go. on. And now there's three on. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Waka waka waka. My impression of the genie from Aladdin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yikes. Will Smith or... Harsh. <laughs> oh. Yep. Obviously going to have to rewrite the Fresh Prince theme song to be genie themed. Yes. <laughs> in a do, land do, 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 spent do, do, in the Cave do, do. of Wonders oh, oh. where I've spent most of my days. Well, I come from yes. a land from a faraway place where the caravan go, camels go. Where it's flat and immense and the heat is intense. But Barrack went, hey, it's home. Yeah. When yeah. the wind's from the east and the sun's from the west and the sand in the glass is right. All right, All right now push record. <laughs> Always record. Gear stars, we I think we covered that. Yeah. John, John Jen Krasinski. No, wait, not her. <laughs> John, Krasinski. John Krasinski. I really want John Krasinski. Fuck. John Krasinski and Jane Krakowski play Bik- yeah. uh, Reed Bukowski. Yes. <laughs> well done. Nice. <laughs> gotta do what I gotta cool do. Cool cat looking for a kitty. That's the one. Yeah. I know like fragments of the lyrics to that. Oh. Why would dress so fine and look so oh, pretty? pretty. Yeah. There goes some beer down the beard. <laughs> Oh, they don't call it that for nothing. Who sings it that anyway? Date Purple. Steve Henderson. What? Yeah, you were wrong too, though. No, it wasn't. It's not, it's not Deep Purple. Hush. Summer in the City. Oh. Yeah, Hush is Love Deep and Purple. Love and Spoonful. Oh. Uh, no, it's Summer in the City. Oh, okay. Hush. <laughs> hush. Thought I heard <laughs> call my name, name now. now. Hush. Hush. It's a good song. Yeah. Love and Spoonful. Yeah. It's Love and Spoonful. Of Deep Purple. I wonder what Deep Purple is a sexual euphemism for. Um, Probably the butt. It's uh, seven, 79ing. Uh, is that doing a six <laughs> while she's 11ing your 12? <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Fellows, find yourselves a lady who 11 your 12. I like unleavened bread myself. <laughs> bread yourself? Unleavened seven. Na- it's pronounced imbruglia. <laughs> Natalie imbruglia. Well, and then riding back out again a second later. Sorry, mm. I'm sorry. I keep cutting you off. Carry no, no, on. no. That's okay. My wayward son. <laughs> Deep purple. Um, <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to get that. We yeah, were not recording, recording then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might put it in the bonus scene, so yeah, right. it'll make sense in the future, perhaps. You monster. Perhaps. 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 <sighs> in the city. Thank you for indexing the index index. Don't forget to index some index, otherwise at index.com. Thank you for listening to the all bonus scene super special edition of the Simpsons Index podcast, which is also an online spreadsheet available at thesimpsonsindex.com. You can chat to us online at facebook.com slash the Simpsons Index or at Simpsons Index on Twitter and Instagram. And that is all the mustard in the house!